Hi, Steve. Um, Ronnie Charters from ITV. Your thoughts? We're nearly here. Obviously, tomorrow's the big one. You're, try to sum up your thoughts and emotions ahead of the Euro opener against Germany. First of all, it's quite a busy press conference, <laughs> so it must be a big game. Uh, no, no, settled in well, trained well, looking forward to the match. BBC. Jane Tagopi. Um, Steve, there's been so much build-up to this match and a lot of hype as well. Um, and obviously you haven't allowed yourself to be distracted by that hype. Now that it is actually here, has the enormity of the occasion sunk in? No. That's just me. That's the way I am. Uh, listen, we know it's a big game. But for us, it's the, the opening game here, four-team section, three matches. We know what we have to do to qualify out the section. Uh, and that's all we're focused on. The, the enormity of the opening game and whatever, that's, that's a little bit of a sideshow. And hopefully we don't get too involved in that. Luke Shanley from Sky Sports. Steve, you've had some landmark performances, results and qualifications in your tenure. Just how big a step up is this to try and come in and win against the hosts? No, for sure. A uh, difficult game. One of the mantras that I've always had is respect everyone and fear no one. So we come here with a lot of respect for the, for the host nation. We know they're a good team. But hopefully on the night we can show that we're a good team as well. Steve, uh, Gabriel Antoniazzi, Radio Clyde. You're talking there about the, the bit of the sideshow, the, the enormity of the, the opening game, but another sideshow might be the tens of thousands of Scots that have arrived in the country over the last few days. Have you and the squad paid any attention to that and how much of a boost has their support given you? No, it gives us a big boost. We know they're here to support us. They're, not going, to, they're going to be behind us every, every minute, every game. Uh, and that's really important for us. We've had a little taste of it down in Garmisch Part in Kirchen, where, where we're based. There's some people down there that have made the walk to training uh, more enjoyable. And I'm sure there'll be a few around in, in Munich tonight that, that we won't see. I hope they enjoy themselves and behave themselves. Yeah, gentlemen there. Hi, right. from TV2 Norway. Um, one year ago, you were here. You were one nil down uh, against Norway in Norway, and then Haaland got subbed off, and you, you scored two goals. Uh, today, how, how do you reflect back on that moment and those minutes and, and how important that was for you? Obviously, we, we knew that Norway would probably be the, the main competitor for the, the other qualification spot in the group if you take Spain as, as the, the, group one, uh, the pot one team that we're going to qualify. We'd already just beaten Spain at Hamden in the, the previous camp, so we came there in, in good spirits. It was nice when we made the equaliser with a couple of minutes to go and we were quite happy to take a point, so you can imagine how happy we were to take the, all three points with the, with the two late goals. But it was a, was a pivotal game in the, in, in the section, uh, and we are, we are aware of that, and hopefully we can have a few more good moments like that in this tournament. Yeah. Andrew McLean, Radio Clyde. Steve, do you sense there's a real belief in the squad coming into this game that you can give this game a, a real go and come out with a result? Absolutely. Uh, that's why we're here. We believe we can get a result every time we go to the pitch. Otherwise, what's the point of going to the pitch? So we've prepared well. We're, we think we're ready. And hopefully you see that tomorrow night. Any more questions? Yeah. First row Tom. here. Tom. Yeah, microphone is there. Hi, Steve. Tom English, BBC Scotland. What is your overriding emotion at the moment, Steve? Can, can you enjoy this? Yeah. Yeah, I think now uh, the experience I've picked up along the way, games, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have been involved in big matches. Uh, for example, Champions League final, I've been lucky enough to be involved in occasions like that. Uh, it was nice to be involved in the last European Championships as well. So, yeah, I, I can enjoy it. I can enjoy it, but I'll enjoy it even better if, once we've got four points on the board. Lady in a row three. Carrie Brown, being Sports. Um, can you give us an update on the full fitness of your team going into this match? And can you tell us about Scott McTominay, how much you're going to have to weigh up his fitness and availability for this match? Everyone fully fit, flying, desperate to be selected and ready to go. Keith? Yeah. Dave, Keith Jackson, Daily Record. Is it difficult from the manager's perspective at a, at a moment like this, ahead of a match like this, to keep the nerves and the excitement levels under check amongst the players? Are, 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 are they seasoned now? Are they, are they prepared for this? Are they ready for it? 
it's difficult for me to do that. They have to do that themselves. That's, that's what they have to do. But most of them have, have been involved in big matches before, so I'm sure they'll handle the occasion quite well. Last three questions, please. Yeah. Rafael Weiss, Sportschau. Um, you worked with a lot of great coaches in your career um, that had all different playing styles, different philosophies. But was there one similarity um, that they all had that you're trying to implement in your team? No, like you say, everybody's different. Uh, what I would say is when you, when you work with a head coach or a, or a manager, they all want to win, but they've all got a different way of maybe approaching that and, and how they get that message across. For me, after working with so many top, top uh, coaches and managers, was, was to formulate my own ideas and, and just be myself. And thankfully, it's got, me, it's got me this far into this chair at this moment in time, so that's quite good. Yeah, in the middle there. Hi, Steve. Uh, Joe from Sky News. Um, I just want your thoughts on your opposition tomorrow, Jeremy. Yeah, good team. Uh, I think people were trying to talk them down a little bit, I think. Uh, when Julian Nagel's moment went in, he probably found, like I did, the first year can be a year where you're trying to find out your best squad, your best team, your best formation. I think he's managed to do that if you look at the recent performances and the friendly matches. So when the draw was made, I expected it to be a really tough game and, and nothing's changed my mind. Shaban? Hi, Steve. Hi. I just wanted to ask you how you feel about the, the group of lads in the squad. You've come a long way now qualifying for back-to-back -back Euros. Are you feeling proud? And also, how excited are you to see them walk out and open the tournament now? No, I think we should all be proud that we're here. Uh, it's been a long time since 1998 when we actually travelled abroad to, to be involved in a, a major tournament like this. It's why the nation's so excited, I think. The, the last championships was obviously COVID affected. So we're proud that we've managed to do back-to-back -back qualification for European championships. Hopefully at the end of this tournament, we're proud that we've achieved something a little bit more, something a little bit more special in, in regards to Scottish football. Now we'll take the final, final question there, second row here. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Shaban. Well done, good job. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Robert Green from The Sun. Are you sensing any nerves with the boys when you've been training this week? Has it been a build-up of anxiety? Or are they all ready, as far as you're concerned? No, they've been good. Uh, there's an edge. There's an edge in training. There's always an edge in training. So you expect that as you approach a big match. And you'd be disappointed if it wasn't there. So that edge is, is, is nice to see.